in the last video we discussed about the load flow analysis and uh, in this video we will discuss about the short circuit analysis using ETAP software we will be using the uh, same single line diagram short circuit analysis is required to carry out because uh, to check the short circuit level at different buses in the power system network so now let's go to this uh, short circuit tab analysis tab so you can see here uh, in the right hand side this is three phase short circuit study done click here name this one short circuit okay okay now we have got some error messages uh, here this synchronous generator x by r ratio equals zero that means it is not yet defined another one uh, xt double dash equals zero no hydroxy reactance and no bus is faulted so let's close this window double click here here if you see uh, go to this impedance impedance model here you can see these values are zero so we have to put we have to put these values uh, in case you have your project specific data you can uh, fill in the boxes otherwise for the time being we are using this typical data so that ETAF will uh, pull out the data from library now now you can see all the reactance values are obtained here okay just click okay and another one you have to create a fault in any of the buses so let's create fault here at a 415 volt bus just right click here and you can get this option fault now this this bus is faulted it is showing in red color now let's run the short circuit study you can see here we, uh, we can see some values but uh, we need to put the unit so that it can be clear so click here display options here put show units okay just click okay okay you can see the fault level at 415 volt bus is 19.481 kilo ampere and here at 11 kb bus this is 0 0.665 kilo ampere and also you can see the bus voltage also reduced here so if we if we represent here uh, bus voltage in percentage here percentage so it will show in percentage value well, you see here 85.2 percentage instead of 100 percentage so because of the fault at 415 volt uh, bus level here at 11 kb bus voltage is also reduced to 85.2 percentage okay and here at 415 volt level you see the fault contribution from motor as well as from lump loads and other connected loads are like this okay so here at 415 volt bus level this fault level is 23.12 kilo ampere so based on that you can design this this uh, lb switch gear you can you can choose the lb switch gear uh, short circuit rating and also the 11 kb system short circuit rating now let's remove this fault let's create a fault at 11 kb system 11 kb bus now again let's run the study 
okay now you can see in case of short circuit three phase short circuit fault you can see this 11 kb bus the short circuit fault current is 4.518 kilo amp whereas at 415 volt bus level this uh, voltage is reduced drastically it is it is now only 15.01 percent is because there is no alternate uh, uh, source of power so only only one source from this 11 kb bus which is already faulted three phase or circuit fault so that's why this voltage is also reduced drastically that's why we generally use double configuration that redundant feeder we will discuss later uh, in another video so now let's remove this fault fault and create a fault at 415 volt level again okay let's experiment uh, the uh, transformer suppose this transformer uh, it's 1 MBA here go to display option it was uh, it will show the bolt uh, voltage rating also here you can uh, click here check check these boxes now you can see the vector vector group this voltage level and percentage impedance all details are here okay now let's change the tab here this transformer if you go here in tab here you can see this is at primary primary tapping that means zero zero tapping position uh, this source circuit is calculated now okay before that before that let's run the short circuit once again just to note down the short circuit values here see this value is 19.481 kilo ampere so you can note it down here this value 19.481 now let's change the tap over here suppose this tap at 2.5 percent so let's check whether this short circuit level changes or not so previously it was 19.481 kilo ampere now click ok let's run let's see it is increased so short circuit level is increased now it is 19.651 instead of 19.481 why because the transformer tap is changed tap is increased that's why the percentage impedance the percentage impedance is also decreased that's why the fault current is increased okay uh, you can generate a report from here this is the report manager you can see the report also and like this this is a simple example of the short circuit calculation how it works how it uh, how it can be calculated using itap software so uh, practically in in any uh, project there will be lot of branches lot of connections bus this uh, uh, this bus coupler breakers uh, and maybe different sources maybe power grid so in that way in that complicated network you can run the short circuit analysis using the same tactics so that you can get the values of the short circuit labels at different buses at different voltage levels